just like I don't have to be a perfect teacher. But just want to rock the forehead side to side, maybe start to set an intention for your practice this morning. And just arrive here, find some gratitude for the fact that despite everything that's going on in the world, you can show up on your yoga mat, get centered with yourself, and when we show up for ourselves and take care of ourselves first, then we can show up better to the people around us. So we breathe deeply, we think about how we want to show up on our yoga mat this morning. And then you just start to exhale all the air out of the lungs, letting go of the morning, letting go of any expectations you may have. And then have a deep inhale through the nose, big breath in as you fill up that breath and hold to the top for the inhale. Exhale, H-A. Again, deep inhale through the nose, fill up that breath as you hold at the top. Exhale, H-A. With intention, deep inhale through the nose, fill up that breath as you hold. Exhale, H-A. Now start to breathe in a little bit deeper, filling up the lungs a little bit more as you hold at the top and then seal your lips this time. And then just exit the breath through the nose, creating that strong ujjayi breath. Again, deep inhale through the nose, fill it on up. Exhale, let it go. One more time together. Deep inhale, breath through the nose. Exhale, just let it go and reset right here. And you can keep that continuous breath. Your breath is your own. You choose how you want to show up, but breath is first. So if you have your Spotify playlist, you can press that first song now in five, four, three, two, press it. Yay. And so now you have that music. Start to take your right arm, thread the needle underneath the left arm, palm facing up or down. Right cheek down to the mat or forehead, and you'll just breathe deeply here, letting your hips sink down towards your heels. You're just resetting. Let that left armpit fall in the direction towards the ground. Have a couple more breaths here. On your third inhale, right hand comes to the top of the mat as you lengthen. Exhale to the other side, left arm threads underneath the right, left cheek down or forehead and just breathe deeply on this side. And you're thinking about that intention. How are you showing up? Don't just blank out here. Try to think about how, I'm, how am I gonna show up in this moment? And what do I need to let go of right here, right now in order to find more freedom in my practice? And then you'll just have a few more breaths here. So three. Take your left hand to the top of the mat. Just reach, inhale, big breath in. Exhale, H-A. Come up into a tabletop, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, finding that neutral spine. You can start to wag the hips side to side. It's morning time. You can turn your palms down, fingertips towards knees as you start to rock back and forth or go in circles in one direction. We're just waking up the body together, unless you're Derek and you did P90X right before this. And you'll go in circles in the opposite direction. <laughs> and then you'll come back to center, palms down, fingertips towards the front of the room, stack the shoulders, stack the hips. And then just inhale, drop the belly, look up, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, round the spine, look through the legs. Inhale, belly down, shift your gaze up, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, round. Now tuck your toes, inhale, drop the belly, look up, but the toes are tucked, deep inhale. 
exhale as you round the spine you slowly find your way into that downward facing dog spread the fingers wide push your chest back towards the shins pedal at that puppy bend those knees back and forth push your chest back towards the shins and you'll pedal out spread the fingers even wider push weight into the knuckles weight into the fingertips let the head hang heavy as you push your chest even further back maybe you start to bend the knee slightly as the heels go in the direction towards the ground Beautiful job. Now right leg goes up to the sky. Lift that heel. Try to keep your hips square at first. And then bend the knees. Stack the hips if you want to. But keep your shoulders square. Roll out that ankle in one direction. Roll out that ankle in the opposite direction. And then back to three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose. Place that foot in between the hands. Now that your foot is in between the hands, take your right hand and start to Start to send that right hand forward towards the front of the room. Just reach it forward, hold here. Now slowly rise that hand up and back towards that right butt cheek. Touch the right butt cheek, just touch it. Peel open, touch it, Derek. Keep it on the booty and peel open. Now maybe you start to take your right hand behind the right ear so that you're bending that elbow and peel that elbow back, holding here. Beautiful job, just stay here. Maybe you're sending your right hand towards the sky, finding that easy twist, peeling open for five, four, three, two. Bring both hands down to the inside of that right foot and find Skandasana, turning that left toes up towards the sky. And so now I'm gonna have you go side to side. We're not gonna do that many Skandasanas in this class, but we're just warming up those hips. So you're just going side to side, Breathing here. Don't overthink, you can go slow, you can go faster, whatever feels better for the body. And then you'll find your way back to the top of the mat, hands to the inside of that right foot, and bring that left foot to the outside of the left hand, finding a yogi squat, malasana, hands to heart center. Just pushing the knees away with the elbows. And then rooting down into your heels, you're slowly gonna zip up the belly and rise the hands up, Deep inhale, hands go back as you inhale. Exhale, slowly roll forward, fold. Just let, not overthinking it. One vertebrae at a time, you're gonna rise the hand, or rise up, hands go high, open up, look up, gaze up, and then just let the body fall down for your exhale breath. One more time, deep inhale, slowly start to rise, hands go up, keep the left hand high, right hand comes to that right thigh, and you're just starting to reach, lengthen through the left fingertips. And then slowly start to come back to center and then come over to the left, reaching through the right fingertips. Now come back to center, bring your feet together as you inhale, fill up the breath. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hands go high, inhale, breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank, top of a push-up. Just getting that high plank, hold here. Zip up the belly. Maybe you start to hinge forward and back, pushing the heels forward and back. Four, five, four, three, two. Push the heels forward, gaze slightly forward, and then trot around the lower halfway or all the way down to the mat. Tuck your toes, untuck your toes, rise upward facing dog for the inhale breath. And then exhale to downward facing. Ah, beautiful job. Left leg goes up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, half scorpion, bend the knee. Try to bring that right heel in the direction towards the ground as the left knee goes a little bit higher, roll out that ankle. Get out the cracks and snaffles and pops. Roll out that ankle in the opposite direction. Back to three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands, low lunge. Now this time, take your left hand towards the front of the room, just reaching forward. Now start to circle the arm up. Left hand touches that left booty. So you're just twisting open here. You can start to bring the left fingertips right behind that left ear. So you're just bending that elbow, peeling that elbow back looking up, maybe straighten out that left hand, breathing. 
four, five, and then you'll go into Skandasana, bending that left knee in four, three, two, both hands come down, Skandasana, and you'll just go on to each side. I don't care how high or how low your hips are, you can also stay up a little bit higher. You're just warming up, going side to side. <laughs> oh, I haven't done yoga in three weeks. <laughs> four, five, four, three, two, and then you'll find your hands to the top of the mat, bring them to the inside of that left hand, and then right foot goes to the outside of the right hand, find yogi squat, malasana. Now slowly start to rise, deep inhale through the nose, bring your feet together as you inhale, exhale forward, fold down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Just moving one movement to one breath. You'll inhale when you up dog. And you'll exhale when you reset into that downward facing dog. Always focusing on the breath. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top as you halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms, go high, fill up the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. And then you float your vinyasa once again, moving at your own pace moving at your own breath, knowing that your exhale is a downward facing dog and then you just reset right there. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float as you halfway lift fat, flat back, not fat back. Exhale, forward fold. Circle, sweep the arms, go high as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Let's do that again. Halfway lift, flat back. Chaturanga on your exhale. You can walk or float back. You inhale to fill up the breath. You exhale to downward facing dog. Right leg goes up to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Find your crescent lunge as the back heel stays off of the mat and the hands go high. So your right knee is stacked over the heel. Your feet are hip width distance and you're pushing that left heel more forward. Maybe straightening out that left leg if it feels okay on the knee. And try to stack your shoulders right above the hips. Try to keep your hips square towards the front of the room. Have your pinky fingers slightly in. Maybe shift your gaze a little bit higher. Sit a little bit deeper into the hips. So this should feel fantastic. It's going to just be a nice relaxing class today. Lengthening as you inhale. Exhale, extend your crescent. Just reach your hands towards the front of the room. Holding here, just hover the belly. Lengthen through your fingertips, have energy through the fingertips. Strong, healthy core as well. Holding here. We're just warming up. So in a moment, you're gonna inhale, bringing the left hand down, keep that right hand forward, and then circle the arm up and back as you chaturanga. Don't overthink it, just bring both hands down like a little circle as you just float through your vinyasa. Inhale, we'll bring you to up dog. Exhale, we'll bring you to downward facing dog. Left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Find that crescent lunge on this side. So this is just the beginning of our flow. We're just breathing in the posture. Notice your breath. Notice that intention that you set in the beginning of class. Push that right heel more forward. Maybe shift your gaze up towards your energetic fingertips. Breathing here. Have weight through all four corners of that left foot. Draw the hands back a little bit more as you inhale. Exhale, extend the hands towards the front of the room, extended crescent. Try to create one straight line from the tops of the thumbs to the back of that right heel. Push that right heel forward. This should feel lovely. You're hovering the belly to spine, hovering over that left thigh, and you're reaching towards the front of the room. So just like the other side, in just a few, when I tell you to, you'll be bringing that right hand down, going into that easy twist, but the left hand will stay forward. So you'll circle that arm back, and that'll have you chaturanga. So hold right here for a moment. Right hand comes down, easy twist, as left hand comes up and back, put both hands down, chaturanga, high to low. Easy peasy, inhale, fill upward facing dog. Exhale, H-A to the ha. Bend your knees as you gaze forward. 
Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat. Now this time, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit deep into your hips. Feet are together, big toes are touching. Or wherever you can get those big toes. You can have a little bit of space in between your heels. Sit a little bit deeper into your hips. Gaze down at your toes. If you can't see your toes, bring your booty back a little bit more. Still belly to spine, strong core the whole practice. Your core will drive your practice. Sit a little bit deeper in the breath. Holding, deep inhale breath. Exhale, swoosh the hands back behind you. Stand all the way up. You can come up onto the tippy toes if you want to for an inhale breath. Exhale, forward fold. Crow pose or halfway lift flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, move with your breath. Inhale, fills you upward dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward, rise up to that crescent lunge for the inhale breath. Exhale, extended crescent. Inhale, left hand comes down as you circle that right hand up and back as you chat around the high to low. Just move with intention. Deep inhale, fills you up. Exhale, down dogs you. Ha. Left leg steps forward, crescent lunge. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, extended crescent. Right hand down as the left hand comes up and back. Chaturanga high to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that again, but we'll move on. Right leg steps forward, rise up to crescent lunge. Deep inhale, breath. Exhale, extended crescent. Left hand comes down. Just find your easy twist as the right hand goes high. Bring the back heel down and find warrior two as you exhale. So now you're cartwheeling those arms up into that warrior two. Right knee stays stacked over the heel. Peel that right knee back. So everything stays stacked. Keep your shoulders right above your hips. Gaze your drishti eye gaze right over the front fingertips. Sit a little bit deeper. Push right into the knife edge of that left foot. Now you're gonna inhale, flip your palm. Reverse your warrior, but take that left hand to that right wrist. Reach towards the back of the room as you're bending that right knee a lot. Holding here for the inhale. Now exhale, bring your hands together and find Skandasana, bending deep into that left knee. Holding here, flex that right foot towards the face. Inhale, easy twist, left hand comes down, circle that right hand forward and up and back as you chaturanga, just like we started with. Inhale, fills upward dog. Exhale to downward facing dog at your own pace. Let's do that on the other side. Left leg steps forward, rise up to that crescent lunge. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, extended crescent. Right hand comes down, easy twist. Exhale to warrior two, bring that back heel down as you cartwheel the arms up and hold here. Know that on the next round, we'll be moving one movement to one breath, a little bit more so, but we're just going through all the movements so that it feels comfortable for you. Sit a little bit deeper. Peel that left knee open so it stays stacked and it's not caving inward. Gaze right over those front fingertips. Find the breath in the stillness. Sit a little bit deeper. Beautiful job. Now inhale, flip your palm, reverse the warriors. Right hand comes to that left wrist. Reach the hands towards the back corner of the room as you sit deeper into that front knee. You're going to hold here for an inhale breath. And then bring the hands together as you skandasana. Bend deep into that right knee, flexing the left toes back towards the face. And just like in the beginning of class, we're gonna go into that easy twist. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up and back just for funsies as you chaturanga high to low push up. Inhale, fill upward facing dog. Exhale, HA to the ha. Beautiful. You got that? Yes, good. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat as you inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, swish the hands back. Inhale, stand all the way up, maybe lift your heels for a nice little tippy toe. Exhale, forward fold. Curl pose or halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, move with your breath. Nice work. Inhale, fills you upward facing dog. Exhale, resets you into downward dog. Right leg steps forward, rise up to crescent lunge for the breath in. Exhale, extended crescent. 
Left hand down, right hand up, easy twist. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Inhale, flip your palm, reverses. Left hand comes to that right wrist. Exhale, skandasana, bend deep into that left knee. Inhale, easy twist, swish that right hand up and back. And then chaturanga as both hands come down. Inhale, fill on up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Left leg steps forward, rise up into crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, extend your crescent. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse warrior, right hand to left wrist. Exhale, skandasana, bend deep into that right knee. Inhale, easy twist, swish that left hand up and back. And then you float your vinyasa high to low. Inhale, fills you upward dog. Exhale, H-A to the ha, beautiful. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top as you utkatasana for the inhale breath. Exhale, swish the hands back behind you. Stand all the way up, maybe coming up onto those tippy toes. Exhale, forward fold. Crow pose or halfway lift, flat back, nice work. Exhale, float your vinyasa, just moving with intention. Inhale, fills you upward dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Right leg goes up to the sky as you inhale, hold here. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips, stay or flip your dog. Knowing that you can stay in that three-legged because we'll come right back to it. But if you want to flip, flip. If you want to flip, flip. <laughs> Beautiful. Take this where you want to take this. Nice work. Find that expression. Beautiful job. Now back to three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose. Touch that knee to the nose. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Good. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale, reach, lengthen. See how I'm not doing this right now? Exhale to your right elbow. Hold here or fly into an arm balance. Otherwise, this is a great place to stay and hold. Still just as difficult. Three, a two, one. Back to three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Rise up to crescent lunge as the hands go high. Exhale, extend your crescent. Left hand comes down. Easy twist as you inhale. Exhale, open up into warrior two as the back heel comes down. Flip your palm as you reverse the warrior, grabbing that right wrist. Exhale, skandasana. Bend deep into that left knee, flexing the right toes back towards the face. Now inhale, easy twist. This time just keep that right hand high and then you're gonna hold right here. Come onto the knife edge of that left foot and find Vashi Stasana, side plank, taking that right leg and placing it over the left. You can bring your left knee down to the mat to modify. You can lift that right leg up if you'd like to intensify. You can do whatever kind of modification works for your body. Doesn't matter, you're at home. Find your fullest expression, doesn't matter if you're in a studio either. Three, two, and then flow through your vinyasa, high to low push up. Inhale, fills you upward, facing dog. Exhale, resets you, H-A, ha. Left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips, stay or flip your dog, knowing that you can stay or you can flip or you can just play with the idea of flipping as the hips go high. Take this where you want to take this. Find your fullest expression. And then you'll come back into that three-legged dog, left leg goes high, oh, my favorite song ever. Exhale, knee to your nose. Can you touch that knee to the nose? And if you're not touching it, can you try? Are you trying? Beautiful. Back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale to your left elbow. Hold here or fly into that arm balance. Nice. Five, four, beautiful. Three, two, you got this, Lori. One, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands. Rise up to that crescent lunge. Exhale, extended crescent. Right hand comes down, easy twist. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse, right hand, left wrist. 
Exhale, skandasana, bend deeply into that right knee. Now inhale, easy twist, left hand comes up, stay right here. Or find that vashi skasana, taking that left leg and placing it over the right. Otherwise you can always bring that right knee down, left hand comes up, no big deal. Sunny, beautiful, we're matching, hips go high. Stack those heels, flare those toes. Sides of your mouth upwards because you love. Woo! <laughs> Good, see, yes. Find your fullest expression as you inhale. And then exhale, chaturanga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inhale, upward facing dog for the breath in. Exhale, H-A to the ha. Beautiful, we're halfway through class. So relaxing. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat as you find Uttakatasana, sitting deep into the hips. Bring your hands to heart center. Reach the crown of the head forward and left elbow goes to the outside of that right knee, pushing that right palm down into the left. Try to keep your knees in line. Your hips are square and you can start to open up the arms if you like to go there. Or you can go into side crow if you like to have that arm balance. Always a place to practice your arm balance. Nice work. Nice, Shar. Beautiful. Take this where you want to take this. Find that expression. And then when you're ready, you'll come back into that prayer twist. You'll come back to that Utkatasana chair pose. Swoosh the hands back. For <laughs> And then inhale, stand all the way up, bringing that left knee with you for single leg Uttadasana. Woo! Now take your left hand around the left knee, or two piece fingers can hook around that big left toe, and then you can start to open it up. Knee comes over to the left, hand comes over to the right, or you can have that big toe so the foot will be over to the left. Maybe you shift your gaze over that right hand. Holding here. And when you're ready, maybe you start to grab that knee instead of that foot, you're still opening up and you'll slowly hinge that knee back as you find a half moon. So now your right hand is down and your left hand is up. So you're stacking that left hip right over the right. You can place a block or a water bottle underneath your right hand, or you can just touch those fingertips towards the ground if you want to, otherwise hover. Try to peel that left hip back so it stays stacked. Beautiful. Holding here for an inhale breath. Exhale, standing splits, left leg is high. And now your hips are square and you're lifting that left heel. Try to bring your forehead in the direction towards the shin, maybe. Maybe you go into some hops going into that handstand. Otherwise, this is a great, beautiful place to stay. Can you have more fun in your practice? Can you not make everything such a big deal? Right? Yes. Yes. So you take that heel a little bit higher, deep breath in. Exhale to a low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands go high. Exhale, extended crescent. Left hand comes down for easy twist, right hand up. Exhale to warrior two, all the way into warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse, left hand, right wrist. Exhale, skandasana, bend deep into that left knee. Inhale, easy twist, left hand high, right hand up. This time, exhale to a side angle. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. So this is your first time in that side angle. Your elbow can come to that thigh, left hand is up, or right fingertips can come towards the ground, and you try to stack those shoulders, peeling that left shoulder back. Beautiful job holding here. Breathing here. Maybe take your left hand forward. Maybe take your right hand forward like you're holding a beach ball in Hawaii. Same shit. <laughs> Peel that left shoulder back. Four, five, four, three, two, star pose for your inhale breath, and then chaturanga, just for fun. Inhale fills you up. Exhale to downward facing. Ah, beautiful. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float. 
as you Utkatasana for the inhale. Breath, hold right here. Now bring your hands to heart center. Sit a little bit deeper into the hips. Reach your crown of the head forward and then prayer twist. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee, pushing that left palm down into the right. Can you try to stack your elbows? Can you try to bring your hands more to heart center as you twist? Can your knees stand? Oh, I love this song too, Lori. Maybe you open up your arms. Maybe you go into side crow. Otherwise stay. I wish I could play music really loud. Beautiful. Can you sit your booty a little bit deeper if you're staying in that prayer twist? Continue to breathe, never holding your breath for five. Find your fullest expression in side crow for four. Awesome. Three. Two. Nice, Melissa. Nice, Al Dog. Hi. One. Slowly start to come back to Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, swoosh. The hands back behind you. Right knee comes up to single legged Tadasana, and you'll hold it right here. Flex that right foot. Take your right hand to the outside of the right knee, or two piece fingers hook around the big toe and then you'll start to open it up. Knee comes over to the right, foot comes over to the right, left hand left. Maybe look over your palm once you have that balance. Otherwise, just keep your gaze center. Yep, you're doing great. Beautiful, hold here. Can you find some stillness? We flow all the time, can you just hold right here? Sides of your mouth upwards because you're happy. <laughs> Oh, I rolled my ankle the other day, yesterday, and it hurts like balls. Hold here. Now take your hand to re-bend that right knee, and you're gonna peel that knee back like a little dancer on a, on a jewelry box. Can you find your way into that half moon, extending that left leg back behind you? Stack your right shoulder over your left, stack your right hip right over your left, and just hold here, lift that heel a little bit higher energy through your fingertips. If this is too easy, have your gaze over to the right side of the room just for a moment, just for funsies. Look over to the right as you peel open a nice little bit more and then bring both hands down to the mat, standing splits as the right leg goes up to the sky. Awesome job. So now that you're in standing splits, lifting that right leg up, you can play with going into a handstand. Doesn't matter if your leg is just straight down like this. You're just lifting the leg and you're getting that nice stretch in the back of that left leg. But you can take this where you want to. You can play with your balance, bringing one or two hands behind that left calf if you want to. Find that expression. Continue to kick. Kick. Kickity kick. And then slowly find your way into a low lunge. So now you're in a low lunge, your left foot is forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands go high, deep breath in. Exhale, extend your crescent. Inhale, right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Exhale, open up into that warrior two. Flip your palm, reverse the warrior, right hand to left wrist. Exhale, skandasana, bend deep into that right knee. Inhale, easy twist, right hand comes down, left hand comes up. And then you switch hands, left hand will come down, back heel comes down, and now you're in that side angle on this side. So your left leg should feel good. You can rest that, or you can bring that left elbow to that left thigh. And you hold here. Breathing here. Maybe you're sending your right hand towards the front of the room. Maybe you're sending both hands towards the front of the room. Inner rotate your palms. Heel that right shoulder back thigh. Four, three, two, straighten out that left leg, both hands go up, deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Inhale, fills you upward facing dog. Hold right here, let it feel fantastic in that upward facing dog, and then come back into a low push up. Inhale, high plank, and then come down to your forearms, bringing the forearms down. Try to keep your hips in line with the shoulders and the heels. So one straight line with the body. Zip up that belly. Beautiful job. Now maybe lift that right leg up to the sky. Maybe drape the right toes right over those flat left heel. Breathing. And then switch sides. Right foot comes down, left foot comes up. 
and maybe goes on that heel. You're gonna find your way back into that forearm plank. Walk your feet in, 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 and now you're gonna find a dolphin pose. You can start to bring one leg up to the sky. You can go into a forearm balance if you've been practicing that and you're in a safe space where you won't break anything. <laughs> Otherwise, just stay exactly where you are in that dolphin, just keeping the hips up, keeping your shoulders stacked above the elbows. And if you have one leg up, you could just switch out the legs so now your left leg will be high. Great work. Holding here. Four, five, four, three, two. Now you're back in that dolphin. Hinge forward to high plank from your dolphin. And then float through your vinyasa. Inhale, fills you upward. Facing dog. And then exhale, H-A. Ah, yes. Bring your feet to the outer edges of the mat. Walk your feet in a little bit closer, like a mini, mini down dog. Take your left hand to the outside of that right angle, or cat. Maybe looking underneath that right armpit. And then switch sides, left hand comes forward, right hand can come over to that other leg. Bring both hands back to center, bring your feet together. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat as you utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, swoosh the hands back behind you. Stand all the way up, hold right here. Now you're gonna bend that left knee, grab your inner foot with that left hand as you squeeze the knees together and lengthen through the right fingertips. So you're gonna go in for dancer's pose. Bending that knee, knees together as you inhale. Exhale, kick into that hand. Try to keep your hips square as you kick. When you reach as far as you can, maybe you start to reach that right hand more forward. You can always take this into a sugar cane if you like to. And just notice your breath. Four, three. Four, two. One, single-legged Tadasana, left knee comes up to a tabletop as you inhale. Exhale to a revolved half moon. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Keep your hips square. Now slowly bend the right knee, bring the left ball of the foot down, rise up to crescent lunge as you inhale. Exhale, extended crescent hold right here, bring your hands to heart center as you inhale. Exhale, twist, left elbow to the outside of that right knee, pushing that right palm down into the left. You can start to open up your arms if you like to go there. Otherwise, this is a great place to stay, or you can also bring that left knee down to the mat. Have fun. Have more fun. Continue to twist. Beautiful. Back to center. Extended crescent. So your right leg should feel really good right now. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, all the way into that warrior two. Flip your palm as you reverse left hand, right wrist. Exhale, skandasana. This time, reverse your warrior. Deep inhale, breath through the nose. Exhale to trikonasana, straighten out that right leg, hinge forward, and then right hand can come down to a block to your shin, or wherever you want to place it. Whatever feels best. But make sure that left foot is at a 45 degree angle. So you're twisting from the ribs, but this left hip is slightly down. You can do whatever kind of variation you like to do here. Otherwise, just stay, breathe. And then you'll rise all the way up. Turn your right toes in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you inhale. Exhale, flat back fold, taking your hands to the knife edges of the feet, actively pulling that crown of the head in the direction towards the mat. You can find tripod headstand if you'd like to go there. Otherwise, this is a great place to stay.
You can also take your hands in front of you. Maybe lifting the heels high. I don't know, whatever kind of variation you want to do. If you're in a tripod headstand, slowly start to come back to center. Bring both hands up towards your hips and with a flat back, rise all the way up for the inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Flip your palm reverse, just regular reverse. Exhale to a side angle. Take that left hand to the low back, coming into a half bind if you want to. Maybe you go into a full bind, connecting the hands behind you. And maybe you carry bird of paradise if you want to go there. Otherwise, just stay exactly where you are. How are we running out of tempo? Breathing here. Otherwise, stay exactly where you are. Try to make sure that that left shoulder is always coming up if you're going into any kind of bind. You're not letting that shoulder dump down. Find that fullest expression. Nice job. For a three, two, one. Find your way back into that side angle. Inhale, star-ish pose, keeping that right foot forward. And then exhale, do five push-ups. Woo! <laughs> or funsies. One, you do it too, not me. Three, four, five. Inhale, upward facing dog, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing, ah, beautiful. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat as you Utkatasana for the inhale. Exhale, swoosh the hands back behind you. Stand all the way up and hold right here. Now you're gonna bend your right knee and you're gonna find dancer on this side. So take that right hand to the inside of that right ankle or foot, squeeze the knees together, lengthen through the left fingertips as you inhale. Exhale, find that dancer. Keep your hips square as much as you can. Knowing that you can find sugar cane here as well. Otherwise stay, enjoy the stillness. Breathe in here. Find your fullest expression wherever you are. And then find single legged Tadasana as the right knee comes up to a tabletop. Exhale to a revolved half moon. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Keep your hips square. Knowing you can always bring that left hand to the low back, but maybe you leave it up. Because we're going to go into that crescent lunge in three. Bend the left knee in two. One. Crescent lunge. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, extend your hands towards the front of the room. Bring your hands to heart center as you inhale. Exhale, twist, right elbow to the outside of that left knee, pushing that left palm down into the right. You can open up your arms here. You can bring your right knee down here. Try to bring your hands to heart center and stack those elbows like you are in prayer twist. <laughs> Do you like how I just looked at that foot? <laughs> like, I, you <laughs> I just stared at it. Don't be distracted by me, have your own practice. Four, five, four, three, two, extended crescent. Reach your hands towards the front of the room. Hold here. Exhale, er, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, easy twist. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip your palm, reverses the right hand comes to that left wrist. Exhale, skandasana, bend deep into that right knee. Reverse your warrior as you inhale, left hand high. Exhale, trikonasana, straighten out that left leg, hinge forward, and left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Turning your right toes slightly in, both legs are straight. Straighten both legs, even if you have to take your left hand to that left shin, or a block. You can do whatever kind of variation you did on the other side. Four, three, four, two, one. Rise all the way up. Turn your left toes in, interlace your hands at your low back and squeeze the shoulder blades down and back for the inhale breath. Exhale, flat back fold. Just letting the hands hang heavy. You can stay right here or you can go into a tri-
tripod headstand. You can also bring your hands forward. You can take your left hand to the outside of that right shin and you can bend that right knee a lot, getting a nice stretch. Just making sure that whatever you do, you do on the other side. Nice work. If you're in a tripod headstand, you'll slowly start to bring yourself back to center. You'll bring your hands up to your hips. 